there are some things in life that you should really pay a professional to do. And one of those things is removing window tint. Check this out. At the end of this video, I will show you guys how I attempted to start peeling off that tint. And um, believe me guys, that is something that you want to pay a professional to do. Oh my God, that's awful. But I'm so excited for the rest of the tint to come off and to actually be able to see clearly at the window. The rear is, see, oh, you can see it now. You can see it now. That's a great shot of what the rear looks like. That's no joke. That's not just how it looks on camera. That's how it looks in real life. I've been trying to tell you guys about this. There's, I don't know what it is. This m might be original tint with the Lexus, dude. But that is no bueno. And uh, I just found a guy who has availability right now. He's only gonna charge me $100. And his company has good reviews, so let's go check it out. So I'm here at the tin shop and I made a friend. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Okay. I am very, very impressed. Dude, if you guys are in the Tampa area, this is the spot. Optimized tint. Um, yeah, I'm right down here in downtown Tampa. Dude, that guy got all the tint off. One hour exactly. Look at this. Look how, look how clear it looks, man. Oh, I'm so freaking happy, dude. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way right now to sell the M8 Performer Street Exhaust. And that was my neighbor and he just saw me singing into the GoPro, but uh, that's okay. That is okay, that is okay. I don't know what accent I'm doing, but I'm just, I'm, I'm doing something. So the video of me posting all the parts for sale hasn't even been up for 24 hours. And I am heading out right now to Wesley Chapel I'm meeting uh, this this guy named John. He has a yellow Type R. I, I I didn't ask. I don't know if it's an LE or I don't know. It might be a wrap. We'll find out, brothers. Well, here I am in Wesley Chapel. First time I've ever been to Wesley Chapel. Look at that, dude. They greet you right off the freeway with a Mercedes dealership and a BMW dealership. And dude, this road is nice. It's amazing how much uh, different. I, like one town could be compared to another in the same state, you know? I just drove for 45 minutes and this already feels like completely different than, than Riverview. Oh, look at that. I think that is a limited edition. Wow, dude, does this guy have an LE for real? It's pretty sick. Not gonna park it right there, it's kind of a tight squeeze. There we go boys, transaction complete. Oh, he's right behind me. That feels good. I just made a bunch of space in my garage. Uh, for some reason, that exhaust was divvied up into two different boxes, but that's okay. Uh, that just means I have that much more space. Like every single morning when I start the car before work, it is 6:34 a.m. for some reference. And the windshield is the worst part. It's extremely foggy. It's the most difficult windshield I've ever had to deal with in a car. I've already shown you guys all the scratches. If I polish it and ceramic coat it, I really hope that the water repels and it's you know a little less foggy as a result. I don't know if it's going to help with the fogginess to be honest. There are only two more steps with Project Lexus. Number one, what I'm about to do is replace the turn signals, the low beams, and I'm also going to polish. I'm gonna use my DA polisher on the headlights and get these nice and shiny and clear. I have this nice little trim tool that'll be able to get these things out. Let's see how well it works. Oh, I think it's too thick. No, nope. oh my God, dude. That is life-changing. Guys, if you don't have one of these, that's the first time I've ever done that with a clip. This is awesome. To 
get the turn signals out. I just gotta get this screw on loose, or loose, loosened. Okay, I believe I have to pull it towards the front of the car. Next, I got a bunch of 10 mils to pull out. This car is so high off the ground that I don't even need to put it on ramps or anything to get these bolts out. something down here. Freaking YouTube videos, man, that don't show every single step. That bothers me. I like to show every little bolt because as a consumer of car content myself, that's just one of my pet peeves, man. When I watch like an, intel, uh, an intake install or an exhaust install and they're just like, yeah, I took off that, 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 that. Well, how about you just set up your camera, it's not that hard, and show it so that I can see with my own eyes. You know what I'm saying, guys? Yeah, right under here, there are two, two, I don't know, if, I can't really feel what they are. I don't know, guys, you tell me what they are. I can't see. I can't see what they are. I can't see. Oh, I gotta get my, 185 pound ass down here. Oh, they are. They're Phillips freaking screws. Maybe they aren't screws. I'm turning it and nothing's happening. I don't understand what's happening. Let's go, big boy. You're coming out. I'm coming out, so you better get this party started. These guys are not coming out. I think they're just plastic. So. I don't know why they're not coming out. Look at this guy. <sighs> of course, right after I went on a freaking little spiel about YouTubers not showing everything, I decided to turn the camera off and just go ape shit. I just ripped it off and, well, it's off. What the hell were those things? I don't understand. They just ripped right through, which is cool, I guess. Damn, those little sons of bitches are still in there. Now, what the hell even is that? Stupid. Ah, uh, motherfucker, dude. I don't have a very high, um, I don't have a lot of patience when it comes to car installations. Cause like one bolt will be super easy to get out and the next thing will be super difficult, but it's like the same fucking thing on the other side. You know, that shit grinds my gears. What the hell was you? What the hell is this? Damn it, dude, I don't even know what the fuck this thing is. But much. So I have my DA polisher here, and this is the pad, dude, I'm just gonna use this old pad, and I'm not even gonna do the whole wash this, wipe down with isopropyl alcohol. I'm not gonna do any of that. This is an old car. These look super shitty anyway, and this is an old pad. I'm just gonna go ham. This pad has done my Tension Civic Asai, my Cobra, and Kenny's car. I'm also not gonna do several steps. I'm just gonna go right to the polish. Dang, there's even a bug on there too. I don't really care. Dude, you have to be absolutely shitting me. My phone just ran out of storage both times that I polished each headlight. Ah, <sighs> frickin' A, dude. Anyway, I haven't even wiped it all off yet, but uh, instant results. Looks great. Looks a million times better than it did before just with a little polish. All that stuff up top, you can see where it was really bad and now it's not so bad. One trillion times better. Well, that's how easy it is to polish your headlights. All that freaking sandpaper stuff and no, 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 you don't need that. You just need a polisher. Honestly, you could just, you could do it by hand if you wanted to. 
Okay, well, I got the bulb out of there. I'm just gonna push in, turn it, and it comes out. To replace the turn signals, I got these Sylvania LED 1157A. Put it in, turn it, locked into place. It's not coming out now. Damn, so I just took apart the other one. Look at this. Have you guys ever seen that before? Well, this just in. Your boy did not order replacement fog light bulbs. Um, I got rear brake light bulbs and rear turn signal bulbs, but all of those light bulbs are good. God, I'm tired of seeing the word bulbs already. Look how shiny those are though. These headlights are looking pretty nice. So I guess all I'm doing are low beams and turn signals. And that, that's fine. I probably should have done low beams first because uh, I could have used the daylight, but that's all right. Where are you, buddy boy? Is this it? Oh, it just literally pops out, okay. Nice. All right, pull out this rubber um, boot. Rubber boot has been removed. Oh, okay. There she blows. I don't really care about getting my finger on it. Oh wait, what? why is this all coming apart? Well, I figured out why that thing is not coming out. It's because I replaced the whole entire little, I don't know, hat thing all at once. Okay, so what I have here, I, again, I have Sylvania, Silver Star. Mm, that's it. You know what, before I go any further, I would like to try this out. Make sure I put that in correctly. How does she look? Bro, that's not LED. Is that LED? Uh, yeah, well, you're just gonna take my word for it. It looks a little better than the other side, so. But I thought they were gonna be like white LEDs. Did I not get that? Am I stupid? Brighter down road and whiter light. Mmm, I don't know, man. Doesn't look that white to me. Oh, that's what that piece was that fell out. It's this thing right here, which the bolt, the nut goes on top of. That's kind of ghetto. Have no fear, guys. Cam is making it happen. Yeah, that's all she wrote. Damn, I've already taken these fog lights out three times. Yes? Don't record me. I'm only recording your face. How much longer do you have? Probably five minutes. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure you're still alive. I'm alive. I'm still alive, but I'm barely breathing. <laughs> just pray to a guy that I don't believe in. Well, I got time and then and then. Nah, nah, nah. Cause when a heart breaks, no, it don't break. Wait, I can do that better. Cause when a heart breaks, no, it don't break even. I'm not really trying, guys. I'm not warmed up, but uh, I can do better than that. I'm just kind of fooling around. But you know, you have to warm up so you can get that tone. You know what I mean? Like right now, I. Ah! Hey, 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 no, because I'm not wearing pants. Oh. That's inappropriate. Well, it's what I'm most comfortable in, so whatever. I'm just playing, babe. What are you eating? You eating something? Yeah, I had dinner. What'd you have? Fucking salad. Cool. Daddy's gonna come cook some stuff when I get in. Alright, well, I'm gonna go take a shower. Okay. I'll take a shower when I get in. Okay. By myself. Well, you could hurry up. Just kidding. Well, babe, that's inappropriate. I don't know if I could put that in the video. I mean, they know we're having a baby, so it's whatever. Yeah, at least you're not the one carrying the evidence of what we've done. But it's fine. Anyway, see you next time. Bye. Still a heartbreak, no, it don't break even. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? She's good enough, boys. I'm gonna put this thing up for sale. Oh, yeah.
just like that. You know what? That only took me two hours, which isn't bad. And I had to rewatch a YouTube video during that, so. When I leave for work in the morning, I will show you guys how it looks. It's Friday morning and I'm taking out the trash. Lexus, baby. You know what? That is a really, really cool looking car. Oh, okay, but oh shit. All right, let's say bye to mama. Mama? Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know the flashlight was gonna turn. Give me kissing. I'm just gonna do a quick, quick turn signal check. The right front turn signal was the one that was not working. And uh, okay, so it looks like it's probably a fuse. That's cool. Nice, 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 nice. Let's try the left one. And still not working. Uh, okay, well, I guess I'll have to troubleshoot that. But hey, the headlights work. That's cool, right?